Well, <laughs> I shouldn't answer any questions on the subject, but I will. <laughs> uh, you know, there's, there's all kinds of people watching this that are long Bitcoin, and there's nobody that's short, and nobody, nobody wants their windpipe stepped on. And I don't blame them. I don't like people to step on my windpipe. But I would say this, that if all the people, this, if the people in this room uh, owned all of the farmland in the United States, and you offered me a 1% interest in it, and you said for a 1% interest in all the farmland in the United States, uh, pay me, uh, pay our group. Um, well, let's see. Ten trillion. One. Uh, pay us this bargain price, $25 billion. I'll write you a check this afternoon. $25 billion. Now I own 1% of the farmland. If you tell me you own... 1% of the apartment houses in the United States. <coughs> uh, and you offer me uh, a 1% interest, so I'll have a 1% interest <coughs> in all the apartment houses in the country. And you want whatever it may be for it. And call it another $25 billion or something. I'll write you a check. You know, it's very simple. Now, if you told me you owned all of the Bitcoin in the world and you offered it to me for $25, I wouldn't take it because what would I do with it? Um, I have to sell it back to you one way or another. I mean, maybe I'd be the same people, but it isn't going to do anything. The apartments are going to produce rental and, and the farms are going to produce food. And uh, uh, if I've got all the Bitcoin, you know, I'm back where whatever his name was, who may or may not have existed, was you know, 15 years ago. If I've got it all, he could create a mystery about it. But everybody knows what I'm like. I mean, so if I'm trying to get rid of it, you know, people will say, well, uh, you know, why should I buy some Bitcoin from you? <laughs> I mean, why don't you call it Buffett coin? You know, make your own or something. What? Do something. But uh, I'm not going to give you anything for it. And you'd be right, incidentally. But... That explains the difference between productive assets and something that depends on the next guy paying you more than the last guy got. Now, net, if you look at it, a lot of commissions have been paid. and there's, I mean, there's all kinds of frictional costs that are very real that somebody has paid to a bunch of people who facilitate this game. But whatever... One group of the public is taken out, or one group of owners, has come in from other people. I mean, it's other people have entered the room and they move money around, but, but no money has, there's no more money in the room. It's just changed hands with a lot of maybe fraud and costs involved and, you know, a whole bunch of things you lose. You know, you forget the numbers or forget the equation. The, uh, you can do that with a lot of things. I mean, it's been done throughout history. Uh, certain things have value uh, that don't produce something tangible. I mean, you can, you can say a great painting, you know, probably will have some value 500 years from now. May not, but the odds are pretty good that if it was a big enough name at some point, there will be a few things. I mean, it, you know, you can uh, you can find something. But if somebody wants to sell you a pyramid or something, and you can charge the viewers, or you know, it'll be around a long time and, and won't produce anything. But 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 uh, people will find it interesting to go there because they're better about the pyramids. But basically, uh, assets to be to have value, they have to deliver something to somebody and uh, uh, and there's only one currency that's acceptable in the United States. I mean, you can, you can come up with all kinds of things. Uh, we can put up Berkshire coins or, you know, we can put up Berkshire money or anything like that. But uh, we get in trouble, I guess, if we call it money. But uh, in the end, 
this is money, and and there's no reason in the world why the United States government, whose currency people prefer, we literally there's 2.3, just under 2.3 trillion, just of these little pieces of paper floating around some places. Seven thousand for every man, woman, and child in the United States, and of course most of them probably aren't in the United States. Who knows? But this is the only thing that's money. And anybody that thinks the United States is going to change to where they let Berkshire money replace theirs, you know, it's out of their mind. I mean, and, uh, uh, so anyway, uh, with those few deficiencies, uh, you know, you can, whether it goes up or down in the next year or five years, ten years, I don't know. But the one thing I'm pretty sure of is that it, it doesn't it doesn't multiply, it doesn't produce anything. It's it's uh, it's got a magic to it, and people have attached magics to lots of things. I mean, the gold on Wall Street, you know, create magic. You know, you know, we are not an insurance company; we're a tech company. Well, they're an insurance company, but a dozen people or so have raised a lot of money. They just say, just don't pay any attention to the fact that we sell insurance. We are a tech company. Well, in the end, they wrote insurance and. Overwhelmingly, they've lost a lot of money since then. It, 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 you, can, you, can, you can make up things that work well in getting money from other people, and that's why 